hit option. And if you hover over one of the, the dots here, one of the points, it turns it into rounded edge that you can then manipulate. <laughs> Hey, what's up you guys? I'm inside of Premiere Pro Creative Cloud 2017 and I'm going to show you how to make a little subscribe button and how to animate it into your screen using a basic mask tool. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this little bin here that I called subscribe and I'm gonna create a new item, a title, and I'm gonna hit okay. And I'm going to use this tool here, the rounded rectangle tool. I'm gonna click, drag it out like so, and I'm going to change the color of it. Let's make it like a nice darkish, not too bright red. And then I'm going to create a new title on top called subscribe. And I'm going to change it to a different font that I like. You can make it whatever you want, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna change mine to Futura T and I'm gonna change this to white and let's do a little outer stroke let's give it a little bit of a little bit of an edge there let's bring the font size down to like 50 and you can even scrub through to make it easier for you if you kind of hover over you get those double arrows there you can kind of click on it lightly and bring it up and bring it down until it reaches the size that you want okay so that looks about right to me just gonna center it there. So now that that's done, create a new sequence from this title that we just made and we can rename this. Let's call it subscribe button. Okay. And let's right click on it and create a new sequence from the clip. And right now you can see the sequence settings um, that are 1920 by 1080. This is just my default sequence type. You can always change this by right clicking and going to sequence settings and changing um, your aspect ratio and frame size here, okay? So let's just pull this back. So what I wanna do is actually animate this in like it's just appearing on screen. So I'm gonna use a mask tool. You're gonna click on the title inside of the sequence here. It's gonna open up in the effects controls and here is where we're going to draw a mask around the subscribe. So what I'm going to do is click on this and just kind of draw out a basic oval shape around the subscribe button and close it off by clicking the last one there and I'm going to zoom in so you can see you can scroll up and pan over and now I'm gonna make this rounded so how do I do that hit option and if you hover over one of the the dots here one of the points it turns it into a, a rounded edge that you can then manipulate and you can also move these down and bring this in to be closer to the shape like so and same thing here hit option click and then you can adjust this, make it more rounded, less rounded, drag these clips in, drag these points in, and voila, that's the mask. So now we want to animate this mask path to start off screen and animate in screen to make the subscribe button just appear on screen. So let me show you what I mean. So let's scrub forward at a point in advance, and here on mask path, we're just gonna hit the animate button and now you'll see that a keyframe was created. If you click back on mask, you'll see the path again. So let's scrub forward in time to the beginning. And now we want to say mask, let's go off screen left completely. So let's go ahead and just zoom in to fit here or zoom out to fit. And then what I'm gonna do is literally just hover over this mask and you get a hand tool, see that hand tool there? I'm gonna click and just drag it off. So now, over time, the subscribe button just appears, right? So if I play it back, there's gonna be a little bit of a lag because I have to render it real quick, but you get the idea. And to make it faster, if you click back on the title here, you can move this keyframe in so it happens quicker. So you see, just like that. And that's how you make a subscribe button. 
and it's really easy to do just using the mask underneath the opacity and the effects controls. All right, so that's it. I hope that you guys found this useful. If you did, please subscribe to this channel and give this video a thumbs up. Let me know if you want to learn anything else by going to my website, premiergal.com slash tutorials and leaving a request there. I will see you guys next week. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.